Hello, I hope all is well. So today I wanted to show you five great ways to make money using low to mid-level skills. Now by this I mean around level 50, maybe plus or minus a little bit. And the first one I was going to look at is farming and specifically toad flax. Now toad flax take level 38 farming to plant and you can make more money doing ranars. However, if you are a newer or a poorer player and don't want to pay for ranar seeds, maybe you don't want to take the hit if one dies on you, toad flax seeds are only about 800 GP each, so there's really no risk to you there. And they do sell for around 2,500 coins each, so you have the potential to make pretty good money off of an 800 coin seed. Also, this farming run took me a total of about 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so really not much time at all. Now I know there are a total of seven herb patches, however I am just using the main four for the purposes of this, assuming that maybe a lower to mid-level player maybe doesn't have access to some of the others. So here I made 67k in about two and a half minutes, and you can do this once about every 90 minutes or so. I think most people probably know that farming herbs is good money, but you may not have heard of this next one, and that is simply putting pineapple rings on pizzas to make pineapple pizzas. Now this does take level 65 cooking, which is higher than any of the other skill requirements in this video, but I feel like cooking is pretty quick to train and 65 isn't that high. Pineapple pizzas heal 22 in two bites, 11 per bite, tying them for the highest healing food in the game. They're not as valuable as things like dark crab because they do take two bites to eat, but maybe people using Slayer might uh, use them because they do heal more per spot than things like monkfish. But anyway, simply buying pineapples and pizzas on the Grand Exchange, slicing the pineapples, and then putting them onto the pizza, I was able to make a total of 55k profit in 6 minutes. That means I could make up to 550k per hour just by putting pineapple rings on pizzas. You also get 45 cooking experience for each pizza done, so that could be pretty decent money for you. Up next is making unfinished potions. Now you can make around 150 GP each just putting an herb into a vial of water. People training herb lore want maximum efficiency in terms of experience gain, so they don't want to waste time making their unfinished potions, so they'll just buy them on the grain exchange. That leaves some room for people to do the grunt work and actually make a pretty good amount of money. You can do this with any herb and potion. You just want to check on the GE what prices they're going for and find the one with the biggest gap in between the herb and the unfinished potion. I happen to find Ranar Potions Unfinished had a pretty good gap here. The downsides to this as a moneymaker is that one, it is extremely boring, but two, you don't actually gain any experience at all. You could choose to buy the grimy herbs and then clean them and then add them to the vial of water that would slow you down a little bit and I don't think you would really make any more money but you would be gaining a little bit of herb lore experience. Now doing this with 200 Ranar potions unfinished it only took me a total of four minutes to make them all into unfinished potions and I made 60k in profit. That means at that rate I would be making about 900k per hour just making unfinished potions. It is important to note that you do need the appropriate herb lore level in order to be able to make the unfinished potion, but Ranar and Irrit seem to be pretty decent ones to uh, check to start with. Next is something that I've done before and I've actually made quite a bit of money off of, and that is making saplings. Basically, you're just buying seeds. Find tree seeds that people want. Maple are usually a good one, pineapple, curry, um, even palm at times. Uh, have been good but you're just going to want to buy the seeds and plant them into a plant pot water them it helps to have a bunch of watering cans i have like 30 in the bank uh, just for doing this and they do take a little bit of time to grow so if somebody's going to go on a farming run doing trees they don't want to buy the seeds and then wait and then have to wait for them to grow into saplings before they can plant so they'll oftentimes pay 500 gp or 1000 gp more just to not have to wait to buy the sapling already. So if you can do them in bulk, you can actually make quite a bit of money uh, making saplings. The downside to this is that seeds are a little more expensive and they tend to buy uh, a lot more slowly than things like herbs. So you will have to wait a while to do this. Maybe 
putting in an offer overnight would be your best bet. Okay, this time it didn't work out like I had hoped it would. I still wanted to put it in the video though. Uh, I did 100 pineapple and 100 maple seeds and only managed to make 57k in about 10 minutes worth of time. So over an hour that would end up being some like 350k an hour, which isn't that great. But uh, at times it, the margins are a lot bigger and you just have to check the prices beforehand before you decide that you want to use this as a money maker. All right, so for my last money making method for this video is going to be catching implings in Pro Pro. Now, I know that this can be pretty profitable if you have High Hunter and the ability to catch things like Dragon implings, but even without that, with a round level 50 Hunter where Eclectic implings are the highest thing you can catch, you can still make a decent amount of money. So I came with 27 empty jars and I was able to actually fill them up in less than five minutes right about five minutes round trip I was avoiding the babies and youngs they're worth a little bit less but just catching earth gourmet essence and eclectic and I got a five minute trip and the jars cost a total of 17k and I was able to sell them all for 52k so Really, I made 35k in five minutes. That's about 420k per hour, along with a small amount of hunter experience. But I do think this is kind of fun. I think it's kind of entertaining. And if you have a little bit higher hunter level where you can catch things like magpies or natures, you will make a little bit more money, even if you just go and say, fill up quick, just catching all the implings you can and banking them, and maybe once a trip you get a magpie or something that help boost your money you can maybe push that more towards five even 600k an hour all right that is going to do it for this video i do hope you found it helpful or at least interesting maybe both maybe neither anyway thanks for watching and if you have any other questions maybe you need some other ideas for making money feel free to leave a comment and i will try to help you out bye